The last video in our uh, segment on 3D vectors is about direction angles and direction cosines. So what are these? Well, if I draw my 3D coordinate system, let's say this uh, will go to x, y, and z, and I have a vector in an arbitrary direction, right? Um, ooh, let's do some color coding. So I'm going to have uh, alpha is going to be one of my direction angles, okay? So the direction angles are the angles that your vector v makes with each of the axes. So the one that it makes with the x-axis uh, is going to be equal to alpha, okay? And then let's go to green for beta. Um, so beta is the one it makes with the y-axis. So this is going to be beta. This is one of my other direction angles. And then finally, we're going to have z. And this is going to be uh, gamma. Okay. So those are our three direction angles. So uh, gamma is the angle between uh, your vector v and the z-axis. Um, alpha is the angle between v and the x-axis. And beta uh, is, you know, the same thing, but between v and the y-axis. Okay, so how do we actually get these? Well, oh, I guess I should tell you what the direction cosines are. Direction cosines are simply the cosines of these angles. Why is that a thing? You'll find out in a moment. So uh, to figure out what these angles are, the easiest way to get it is to say, well, if I have a vector v, right, the angle between this vector and the x-axis, I'm simply looking for the angle between really this vector and you know, the unit vector that points along the x direction, so i hat. So if I want to find what alpha is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do v dot i hat, and that's going to be equal to the magnitude of vector v times the magnitude of i hat times the cosine of the angle between them, which is our direction angle alpha, okay? Let's say that my vector v is equal to 3 i hat uh, plus 7 j hat plus 5 k hat. Okay. So remember, unit vector here, this i hat, right? i hat, if I wrote that in component form, would just be 1, 0, 0. Okay, it only has an x component. So what it's doing when I take the dot product of it, right? And remember, dot product really does pick out kind of the component of the vector that points in the same direction. So you can literally see that easily with unit vectors, where what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm saying, let's just take the x component. Right, the one that's in the same direction here, and multiply those. So I do three times one is three. Okay, so I have my unit vector, I have my, my length of three over here. The magnitude of your unit vector by definition is one, and then we do have to calculate the magnitude of v. So the magnitude of our vector v is going to be equal to the square root of 83. Okay, so I'm going to have then that the cosine of alpha is equal to three over root 83. This is my direction cosine, okay, one of my direction cosines. Um, and this is also sometimes written as C1, okay, so C1 equals this. And then we can get our direction angle alpha, which is going to be 70.77 degrees, okay. You can then find for B, you do the exact same setup. You do V dot J hat equals magnitude of V, magnitude of J times cosine of beta, you do the same thing for z hat. So you get v dot k equals magnitude of v, magnitude of k times cosine gamma. Okay, And then you say you, you find your thing. So c2, the direction cosine for this is 7 over root 83. And c3 is going to be equal to 5 over root 83. Beta, you're going to find is 39.79 degrees, and gamma is equal to 56.71 degrees. Okay, so these are your direction angles. Great. 
but there's also something pretty cool about the direction cosines. Um, and if I take the two things, if I look at this, right, this is just the x component divided by its magnitude, y component divided by the magnitude, z component divided by the magnitude. What I've done is I've found a unit vector um, for v, right? So the direction cosines are really just going to be the you know x component of the unit vector, the y component of the unit vector, the z component of the unit vector. We can check that it really is a unit vector too. If I do c1 squared plus c2 squared plus c3 squared, it does in fact equal 1, right? 9 plus 49 plus 25 is equal to uh, 83. Then I have 83 over uh, root 83 squared is 83. I get 1. Okay, um, so they sum to one. We found a unit vector, which means if you have a unit vector, um, you can just read off the direction cosines, and from that, just you know, inverse cosine both sides, and you can easily obtain the direction angles. Okay, so you know you can try this. If I have another vector, thirteen uh, i hat minus six j hat plus eighteen k hat, right? I'm just going to look. I'm going to say, okay, well, my magnitude of my vector right, is going to be equal to the square root of 23. So then I'm just going to read it off. C1 is 13 over root 23. C2 is negative 6 over root 23. And C3 is equal to 18 over root 23. Okay. Um, and from here, uh, I get to just do, you know, alpha inverse cosine of the sides, 55 0.58 degrees, beta 105.12 degrees, and gamma is 38.49 degrees. Okay, um, so yeah, you're able to just really kind of shortcut this whole, you know, just setting up your dot product process um, because uh, you can just exploit the fact that you, you end up kind of with a unit vector. So let's look at another problem, a little different. Uh, and exploit another uh, use for that. That sum, the sum of the squares equals one that we talked about. Um, let's say that I give you alpha is equal to 73 degrees, beta is equal to 152 degrees, and I want you to find gamma for some vector v, right? So I can use this and say, well, I know that c3 squared has to be equal to one minus the cosine of 73 degrees squared uh, minus the cosine squared of 152 degrees, right? So then I get that C3 is going to be equal to positive or negative 0 0.367317, okay? Which means that gamma is going to be equal to either 68.44 degrees or 111.55 uh, degrees. And we can't determine which one it is because we don't have any more information than this. So um, it could be either one of these two angles. Okay. So that's how you do direction angles and direction cosines and some of the uh, neat relationships with the unit vector there.